In the 1970s, the biggest revolution in biology and one of the biggest at science at the time was molecular biology. And Genentech brought molecular biology to drug discovery and development. And it changed the world. The equivalent of our time for molecular biology is generative AI. Genentech has done fantastic work in computation. And it's really exciting because in order to be successful in the biological and the clinical sciences as we move forward, but we need to think about how the experimental work and the computational sciences work really in tight union, something we call lab in the loop. The lab in the loop is a mechanism by which you bring generative AI to drug discovery and development. When we try to discover drugs, we're only as good as our data. We take the data and we use it to train algorithms. Use these algorithms that we've trained to generate new kinds of molecules that we haven't tested before, which we will take back to the lab and generate experimental data for them again. And those test results will be sent to the AI to improve itself, to get a better algorithm, and repeat this process again and again and again until we reach a molecule that has all the right properties that we need in order for it to be a real medicine for patients. I really, truly believe that this field is becoming much more interdisciplinary. This combination of theoretical advances, the interactions in the wet and the dry lab, and we're trying to take a huge amount of data and extract meaningful inferences quickly because that's what's going to allow us to push the field forward. The challenge is massive, but the potential, it's just enormous. Too often we assume something is not possible. I think what is common to Genentech and to NVIDIA is that we don't believe in impossibilities. Working together, with NVIDIA to really do this efficiently is so important because we owe that to the patients. We owe that to the whole public to develop those computational approaches, to do it hand in glove with our colleagues in the lab so that we really are able to accelerate the development of those medicines that are going to change their lives. I believe that this interface between biology and computation, between genomics and machine learning can transform our understanding of disease and if we do better, if we just do twofold better, that is a dramatic, radical shift for the betterment of human lives.